Welcome to Real Physics. This is my series on constants of nature and today I'm talking about the Stefan Boltzmann constant K. Why considering constants of nature at all? Because they are the royal road for understanding fundamental physics as I have explained in this other video. Now someone might argue that K is indeed not a fundamental constant of nature and there are good arguments for it but if you look at this more closely we understand a lot why constants of nature are important and how their elimination uh, as a simplification contributes to progress in physics. Look at this from uh, that perspective. You consider boiling water and melting water and you have a thermometer and you of course you observe that there is a minimum of this thermometer let's say 273 Celsius or zero Kelvin and then you have the observation of melting water at uh, 273 degrees and boiling water at 373 degrees and you just look at this phenomenon and say okay it's a very pretty fundamental phenomenon and we may say that these are constants of nature okay the temperature of melting and boiling water and then you can even try to link this uh, to the constant k but what's what's behind behind is the insight of the uh, german doctor uh, robert meyer in 1842 that indeed temperature is nothing else but microscopic kinetic energy okay and so today you can say okay k is no constant of nature it's just a definition of temperature and that's true but in this definition you see the big accomplishment of Maya in Joule who understood that energy was temperature. So today if you use it in this equation for example it's not a fundamental constant any longer but it also shows that we have understood something very important, a very important feature of nature. Of course there is also Boltzmann with his definition of entropy and but this also relates to the concept of energy. So this is a just a little example that shows that how progress progress in physics is always linked to simplification and simplification is linked to an elimination of fundamental constants in this case k. If you like the video don't forget it to give it a thumbs up and if you are interested in fundamental questions of physics, subscribe to this channel.